Hey, let me show you a few tips how you can save battery on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL I'll basically fix the draining issue. So first of all, you will have to open the settings. Now we have to navigate and we have to go for the Google section, which is located right here. Now open all services, click on devices and sharing and select devices. Now be sure that you actually turn off scan for Nerby devices. Next, we have to go back and now we are navigate into the location, which is located right here, tap on it once. And if you are not using location, if you are not walking uh, outside, if you are not driving with the location, just simply turn it off. But also be sure that you switch off the Wi-Fi scanning and the Bluetooth scanning because it actually run in the background and drain your battery. Right now we have to head for the security and the privacy. Go for more security and privacy and now be sure that you switch off and the usage and diagnostics, this one. So it actually helps to improve our Pixel device, but it's actually sending the diagnostic data to Google. So yes, it's actually drained battery a little bit. Right now we have to go for another option. It will be available in the wallpaper and style. Go for more lock screen options and be sure that you are not using this option now playing because it's activated all the time. Uh, activate the microphones and keep listening for playing sounds to recognize and give you some information. So if you are not using this feature, just be sure that you actually switch this off. Now we are going for the display settings. It's uh, just right here. And first, be sure that you are using the adaptive brightness, so you don't need to get 100% of the brightness every time. Of course, in this video, I will actually turn on the brightness just to show you a better view, but for the real life, you don't need this. Then be sure that you also change the screen timeout for like 15 or for example, 30 seconds, or at least, I mean, the maximum one minute, because if you set it for 30 minutes and then forgot to lock your screen, then it will drain your battery like crazy. Then also be sure that you switch on the dark theme and also two additional options. You can lower resolution to the high instead of the full and you can also manage the smooth display. So we can switch from 120 Hertz to the 60. As you can see, even right here, we've got information that 120, I mean 120 Hertz increases battery usage. Now we have to go back, I mean, we have to stay in the settings, but we have to go back from the battery, for, from the display and we have to go open the battery and be sure that you actually use the battery saver. Just simply turn it on. As you can see, this option actually limits visual effects and background activity. And also it turns on dark theme, if not already on, but we actually did it. So I'm gonna actually turn it off for this video, but if you struggle with the battery, just be sure that you turn it on. Now, if you receive a lot of notifications from the apps that you are not really using and every time you have to turn it off, just be sure you, that you go here and simply remove those notifications that you don't want to receive. I mean, from those apps. So from the most frequent, check how many notifications you receive from specific apps and simply turn them off if you don't need them. Next, you will have to be also sure that you remove from your phone all apps that you don't really use because it's also sometimes connect into the background, into the mobile data, into the Wi-Fi and takes your battery. And as you can see, in my case, this is a brand new phone. So I didn't even actually install here anything, but to uninstall anything, just click on the uninstall button and it will be finished. Right now we have to go for connected devices, open connection preferences, move for printing, open the default print service and be sure that you actually switch this off. The same with the Bluetooth. So if you are not using your Bluetooth, turn it off. And the last two tips, really obvious, but if you are using your Wi-Fi, you can actually switch off the mobile data. And if you are using mobile data, if you are outside, you can actually switch off the Wi-Fi by clicking here. And that will be all. This is all my tips to increase the battery life on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, but it also works for the Google Pixel 9 Pro and the Google Pixel 9. That's all. Please subscribe.